The steering wheel has been ripped out of my hands. I wasn't expecting that the steering wheel just like suddenly came out of my hand. Just broke the bone in half. Nine more screws and two more plates. I broke the bone in like three places. I spoke with the safety department. There is something to do. But the FIA took note of this and actually have gone above and beyond in order to ensure that these kind of crashes and, and these, these things don't happen anymore. The ceiling damper and playing uh, a key role on preventing this type of interest. If you have a, a crash and the damper takes all the force away from the wheel that it doesn't really move out of your hand anymore. So I'm here with Sam Bird, who unfortunately was one of the victims of a hand injury in the Gen 3 car last year. I was. Sam, can you run us through a little bit about what happened? Being brutally honest, it was my mistake. I hadn't put enough work and temperature into the hydraulic brakes in order for, if I had a small issue and lock, and if I went over the threshold with the regenerative braking, that I had hydraulic brakes there. Anyway, I locked up into Sandoval, turn one. The steering wheel has been ripped out of my hands. And I think my hand has either hit the cockpit flat out or the steering wheel has chopped this bone on my hand, just broke the bone in half, which then required nine more screws and two more plates in the outside bone in my hand. I just kissed Norman's rear wheel with my uh, left front and the steering wheel turned in my hand and basically I broke my hand inside the cockpit because I wasn't expecting that the steering wheel just like suddenly came out of my hand. So it was just a very unlucky situation. Um, unfortunately, I had quite some big damage on my hand because I, I broke the bone in like three places. I realized that we have this end fracture, which are not usual. I'm 20 years doctor in motorsports, so I, I know the drivers very well. And I have the feedback from them and looking at what they are saying to me and the feeling they have in the car. I spoke with the safety department and telling them there is any, something to do. For us as engineers, we, we need first to understand what has been happening, because then when you understand the problem, you can, uh, you can find a solution. It was quite challenging because it was very difficult to understand why uh, does it happen, when. Once we understood that uh, when there was uh, front wheel contact um, and introducing air rotation on the steel wheel, that, could, uh, that was at the origin of these uh, an interest, uh, we start looking to different solutions. To mitigate that, we, we put in place many things uh, regarding the shape of the steering wheel. We put some foam in the cockpit. Uh, for the Gen 3 Evo, we use also a, a bigger wing to protect the wheel. Um, but also what we saw clearly, it, it was that during uh, each hand injuries, in fact, the spill of the steering uh, colon was very high. When there was impact on the front wheels, um, the steering wheel was rotating up to 10 times more fast than normal driving. Then we start doing simulations, trying to understand what we needed to do to reduce that speed. The easiest thing for, for us was to put uh, in parallel the steering rack again, a damper to amortize, in fact, the energy after a crash. There was a fantastic collaboration uh, between the FIA and uh, Spark, the Spark, manufacturer of the steering damper. From the paper to come with a solution, produce it and validate it is a long step. Uh, but then what we did, uh, we did two steps to validate it. So the first one was uh, to go to the track. So we got the, with manufactured parts, we installed them on the car, we asked the teams to, to test them. So they, they need to test it on private testing and we, we tested all the cars during the pre-season testing. So for us, it was important that the solution was transparent for the drivers. Basically, we didn't want to increase the force to drive the car during normal driving. So we want that the system only works when there is an impact and basically what I tried to do it was to simulate an impact on the wheel. So we did it with and without the steering damper to validate that all the idea, all the concept that worked. There, there were some crashes that were involving some hand injuries, but the FIA took note of this and actually have gone above and beyond in order to ensure that these kind of crashes and, and these, these things don't happen anymore. The ceiling damper has been the key uh, deployment that, uh, that has been helping and, and playing uh, a key role on preventing this type of injuries. For sure, the FIA is pushing hard to make it for sure safer and, uh, and for us because obviously the injury was, was, was quite bad and they made big steps from, from that moment onwards. The, the steering damper, I think is a very good tool, not being tested yet on my side. 
but uh, if you have a, a crash and the damper takes all the force away from the wheel that it doesn't really move out of your hand anymore. So clearly safety is something which is maybe the most important thing within a FIA and of course when speaking safety and safety for driver, it is a key pillar. Since we the introduction of that solution, that is the steering damper, we have fortunately and to hopefully will remain like that, we have not seen uh, any injuries uh, anymore.